In this video, I will show you how to dump your legit eShop or card games to NSP or XCI using DBI. Let's get started. You need to have a modded console and a USB Type-C cable to follow this guide. And in this video, we will use DBI to dump the games. So make sure you have it installed on your console. If you are using my headspec, you can see DBI inside the album. So these are my games. The first one is a game card with its update, the second one is an eShop game, and the third one is still an eShop game with the game update and several DLCs. As I said previously, these are legit games. To prove it, let's open the eShop. By the way, it doesn't mean you cannot dump non-legit games. You can follow the same guide if you got the games via the tinfoil shop and you want to make a backup of it. And right now I'm running the stock firmware, or we can call it OFW. This console is cheap. To dump the games that reside on the OFW, we should run Atmosphere on the SysMMC CFW. SysMMC CFW is the same OFW but with patches. To achieve it, we should have the console modded by installing a mod chip or using a soft mod method if applicable. Now let's reboot the console. Next, press payload, then select the lockpick RCM. We need to dump the console keys. Highlight dump from system, then press the power button to confirm it. And now press any button to go back, and use the volume button to move the cursor, and select reboot to Hecate, and press the power button again to confirm it. And now press launch, then select the SysMMC CFW. For your information, running atmosphere on the SysMMC is fine. It will only spoil the net if you install pirated games and tin file on this selected world. And even if you accidentally install them, you can always clean the trace by running the system wipe script. So please don't listen to people who scare you. They are the ones who do not know how a jailbroken system works. Open the album. Then select DBI installer. First, let's get into the configuration menu. Scroll down and observe the MTP storage settings. Ensure all the options are active, especially the installed games and the game card option. Now press the B button to go back, select MTP responder, and connect the console to your computer via the USB Type-C cable. On your computer, you should see drive name switch. Open that drive. Open the installed games drive. Here you can see the game titles that were installed on the console. If you want to dump the base game, update, and DLC individually, please select the whole folder and copy it to your computer. But choose the single NSP file outside the folder if you want to backup the game along with its update and DLC in one single file. You are free to choose any option you like, but let's dump them all. Select all the games and drag it to your computer. Now go back to the root of the switch drive. Enter the game card drive. Highlight the file containing the word trim and drag it to your computer. Trim doesn't mean the game is crippled, but it is the compact version without empty or unused space inside the file. And that's how we dump the games using DBI. You can install the games to another console or the MUMMC, but never install it to this is MMC, or your console will get banned if you try to access the eShop. This is because dump games are considered pirated, even though we legitimately own them. So thanks for watching this short tutorial video. I hope you like it and help you learn something new. See you in another video.